belonging to working groups. It is my duty to explain to you why you are breaking up into four groups to discuss four important priorities in Bagati in 2004 you spent two and a half years discussing on how to accomplish the peace process two and a half years but then you agreed in two and a half years that you are going to have 18 priorities some of you were in Bagat you said confidently we are going to have 18 tasks to finish the problem of Somalia and you said give us five years only it will be finished 18 tasks five years then you'll see Somalia that was one of the greatest powers in Africa five years went the 18 tasks remained untouched but Mbagati gave us the transitional charter which we are using thank you for the people who were there Mbagati gave us parliament Mbagati gave us the TFD Mbagati gave us Chief Justice so that was good very good but the 18 tasks in five years were never accomplished but those institutions survived until today for five years for different reasons we had to go to Djibouti the ARS and the transitional federal government said Bagati remained Charter remain, TFG remain, TFP remain, Chief Justice remain. But give us two years, these 18 tasks will be finished. So 5 plus 2 is 7 plus two and a half years of sitting in Bagati is nine and a half years the children who were born when you are sitting in Bagati today are asking you where, where, where are those 18 tasks going what have you done of course they'll ask the TFG they'll ask the TFP they'll ask they look at the charter those children are now going to school they're asking you in Djibouti I don't know you sat for two months then we, we the 18 priorities were not happening not going anywhere the president and the speaker said enough is enough we are not going to spend two and a half years as we did in Bagati, not two and a half months as we did in Djibouti. We are spending five days. They spent five days in Kampala and they said, yes. But what do you do with 18 priorities? We said we have to prioritize them. Out of 18, we have come with only four this time four from what you inherited we are coming with four we are not giving ourselves five years or two years we are giving ourselves one year it's only four and one year it's reasonable in Bagat it was 18 but five years 
Nothing was done. Now we are only with four. You are going to discuss four. Only four this morning. So that we can finish this four in one year. This is the longest transition in history. Why transition? You deserve something permanent. You Somalis, you are proud people. Why transition? Today transition. Tomorrow transition. Bagati transition. Djibouti transition. This transition. Now it's time to say four priorities to get finished with transition. And those priorities you have defined to reduce the 18 are very simple. Security. Who, who would question security? Go and discuss. Let's finish the job on the security front. We have army some. You are building a wonderful army. You had the strongest army in Africa at one point. The biggest air force. The biggest infantry. The most sophisticated navy. Build that one. Minister, you can do it. But let's finish insurgents. We shall finish. Let's seek the help we are getting. We need a constitution. Who would question? Constitution, even if it's interim. But we need a constitution that will guide us. For 21 years, you have had no constitution. The charter was again provisional. We need to reconcile. This is, this is important. Reconcile with whom? With ourselves. And where there is no misunderstanding, let us just outreach. Let's be movers in this political process. So there is outreach and reconciliation. Then the last one, it's very simple, but it's not that easy. Governance. We need to help this Prime Minister to give us a good government, an accountable government, a government that can provide services, a government that can be transparent and respectable. So these are simple, four tasks. We have reduced 18 to four. And this is what we are going to discuss. I, I sincerely hope you, you, will, you will do it so that we can finish this transition in this one year. Now, my, my colleagues, uh, can you explain how the work is going to be done? Because there is this tremendous goodwill and they are ready to do the job. Give them the tools. Prime Minister, I want to assure you, we in the United Nations, we are here. As you can see, we are, we are building very fast. And I want to be with you here before the end of the years, here in Mogadishu. And we, as you said, we shall respond and be with you so that we finish these four tasks quickly and get it to another part, another phase of this great country. 600,000 square kilometers of territory. You are one of the big, even in, even in terms of territory, you are one of the biggest countries in Africa and the longest coastline in Africa and the richest fishing grounds in Africa and the most strategic placed country in Africa. The world is looking at Somalia. You are now at the history stage where you can make a difference. As you go in those four groups, you are making history. So those, those children who were born when the crisis started, and those children who were born when you are going to Magati, they can now look and read. Say, my grandfather, my uncle, my aunt was in Mogadishu, sitting in those four committees, and it made a difference. Thank you.